Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and in today's video I'm going to give you a plan on how you can make a million dollars out of Forex trading. And as you'll see, this is a proven plan, so there's no reason why you can't do it too. Now, I've been trading Forex online for about 17 to 18 years. And when I started out, I was lucky enough to join a group of guys and we went on a Forex trading course in a, a company in Midrand near Johannesburg in South Africa and uh, attended that particular course. During the process, we learned that there's this guru trader who trades really big money and he had an office across the road from uh, where we were doing our course and he didn't mind people going around and chatting uh, uh, while he was trading. He didn't trade that often uh, and while he was waiting for trades to occur, he was happy to talk to people. So we went along, the group of us, and spent quite a bit of time with this trader. In fact, we, we spent a few days in his office uh, chatting and about forex trading and all that type of thing. And it was one of the best kickoffs we could ever have had to be exposed to a really good trader so early in our careers. Now his history was that he did the same course that we had just done and he then went away and spent two months looking at the forex market, back trading, trying all kinds of techniques, support and resistance, momentum, all those kind of techniques he tried out and experimented with for two solid months. And that's something like 16 to 18 hours a day that he spent on that. Coming out of that he came up with a few techniques that he had really good confidence in and he started trading live on a number of those but soon specialized on one particular one which gave quite a good success rate. Now with a good success rate you can actually risk more of your account and therefore gain more uh, because of the confidence you have that your technique will work. Now, the plan he used, the technique he used is what I'm going to be showing you. And that is what we also benefited from by being in his office and uh, spending time with this particular trader. This trader, after five years, we lost a bit of touch with him as he started traveling quite a lot and he had quite a lot of money to invest so he was basically just living off his investments and uh, traveling quite a lot but what he had taught us was this plan that I'm going to be showing you and also the techniques of and we'll also be looking at some of the techniques that he used. Now as I said earlier I've been involved in online forex trading for a long time and I have been exposed to some really good traders. Besides this particular one, we've there's been some other ones that have really turned small amounts of money into huge amounts of money over time. And they all have a number of traits that are very important to have if you want to succeed and make a million dollars out of Forex trading. So before we go on to the plan and I'll show you how it works, I just want to explain to you the kind of traits that a successful forex trader has and we also, we'll also look at the kind of traits that an unsuccessful forex trader has uh, and that will explain to you why this guy was so successful. Okay, so let's begin and I'm going to go for the big daddy of what makes successful traders versus unsuccessful traders and that is basically mindset. This guy and luckily he passed it on to a number of us in our group had a money magnet mindset. Now that might sound crazy to a lot of people but essentially he had trained his mind to attract everything he needed to make lots of money. Now, it was in the days of uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, but uh, Napoleon Hill was around and he was a student of that and we all basically became students of that and the money magnet concept is a very, very important one. If you've gone through the money, money ma ma concept, you will realize that after a while, 
things just come to you and come to you over and over again and you get all the resources the knowledge the contacts all that type of thing that you need to make lots of money when you have a money magnet mentality or mindset no matter how much work you do it is not hard work you enjoy it and he was a particularly hard worker and we also became extremely hard workers because we had a goal that we were going for you also become extremely positive you don't see obstacles in your way you overcome them very very quickly because you've got bigger things to move on to you also don't take shortcuts because you know that someday you're going to need to know something about this aspect or that aspect so therefore you develop a holistic approach and you start becoming an expert at absolutely everything that where forex trading is involved now that might include money management position sizing how to get out of deals how to get into deals how to vary lot sizing during deals what is the best entry technique what is the best exit technique you need you become an expert at all of those things so you don't take shortcuts at all you actually take long cuts we used to call it the other thing is you become self-reliant you don't need anybody or a guru or anybody to tell you what works and doesn't work because you know what works so you don't rely on external people you have done the homework you've back traded particular techniques and you know if they work or not now the winning uh, mindset is also one we have realistic expectations you don't expect to have be successful in every single deal you you do expect to be able to manage the deals to get the best out of the deals so you have realistic expectations now just another thing is that successful traders have their own language you can actually tell the way a successful trader from an unsuccessful trader just by the way they talk the energy they have in what they say the confidence they have in what the concepts they discuss the way they discuss obstacles how they overcome the obstacles very quickly and are very resourceful in that particular area they don't rely on anybody and they know exactly how to find whatever they want now as a group we soon realize that there are these groups of people where some are successful or others are, uh, are unsuccessful and we made a conscious effort to expose ourselves to the successful ones and to mimic their abilities so we would go to trading uh, clubs we would go to uh, technical analysis meetings we'll go to where they showed trading videos in those days we didn't have YouTube and things like that and we mixed with as many successful forex traders as we could and the other thing with successful people they choose their mentors their mentors don't choose them they choose their mentors so when we see a successful trader we go we take take them out for coffee or for lunch and we chat and make friends and we spend time in their trading room and we just chat about forex trading so you actually create your own mentors and and uh, you, you the mentors could even be some of the authors that you read so sometimes we would have a trade and say now what would alexander elder do in a case like this you know and we that's how we developed our forex trading careers but we took no shortcuts and we did all the work ourselves we had a money magnet mentality or mindset now if you compare it with what's going on today people just have the opposite they want to buy a robot they want to plug it in and they want to become a millionaire in six six months time they wanted the shortest shortcut that can be taken to success they have unrealistic expectations they will blame everybody and anybody and everything for their failures except themselves and they would spend a lot of time on their failures they will try to get money back for this and they try to to discredit that person and they would do all those kind of things just to take attention from their own inabilities they don't know how to deal with problems when a problem arises they avoid it and go in another direction rather than tackling it and getting over it and moving on 
the language, the language is completely different to a winning trader. They complain, they discuss problems, they discuss the, the bad things in the industry. You can tell a winner from a loser, they are miles apart. And as one of the group once said, you can't be half pregnant. You've got to decide, are you on this side? the winning side or are you on the other side the losing shortcut problematic side of forex trading part of the shortcut mentality is they think one entry technique is going to make them rich or one ea is going to make them rich and the one thing that we did very well Winning forex traders avoid lose, losing forex traders as best they can. Now there's a difference between a learning trader and a, tra a bad trader with a poor mindset. A learning trader could have a positive mindset that moves them very quickly into the, the, the winner trading mentality. But you could also have a learning trader that has the negative mindset and will never move into that area. So the mindset, and I'm sorry I bel I'm belaboring this point very much, is what dif differentiates a successful trader from an unsuccessful trader. You must bear that in mind and you always have to check yourself out. Am I letting a problem hold me back or point me in another direction rather than solving the problem? Am I being positive about my trading? Am I focusing on the positive aspects of forage trading rather on the negative? Am I trying to blame other people for my failures and things like that? So you've got to start being aware and uh, you might have to replay this video to pick up some of the points that I've mentioned. I'll also do a slide with some of the points, but I'm only mentioning some of the points off the top of my head that are that winning traders have and that losing traders have. Luckily we also had a group so we were a very positive group and we just fed on each other you know the one would say D have you heard this and the other one would say that and we really were a cohesive and, f and uh, solid group and some of the members of the group uh, Barry, Thornton, Barry Thornton for instance he went on and made a million dollars a year so every year he made a million dollars. Now in South Africa, a million dollars was a lot of money. The rent wasn't really worth much in those days. So to make a dollar million in one year is just unbelievable. And a few of a, a few of the guys and uh, didn't do that well. They did okay, but they didn't do that well. And it was all around the mental outlook. Barry, for instance, had an extremely strong mental outlook about forex trading. Others were a little bit chancier, a little bit lazier, less, uh, less thorough, less pro uh, professional and didn't do all that well. And I'm so lucky that I was part of that group. And those days were really great days because the market has changed quite a bit since then. Uh, when a broker tells you I'm, uh, I'm going to charge you two pips for on this particular currency, you could bank on that. Today you can't do that, the, 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 the pips vary too much and uh, also there was a lot more volatility in those days compared to these days where the market is more managed. But uh, there are still huge opportunities in the market and we're going to be looking at that pretty soon. So let's move on to the plan that I'll show you that you can use to make a million dollars. Now whether you're going to succeed or not is not because the plan is bad. It's your attitude towards forex trading and the plan. And I'm not suggesting that you take the plan as it is. You need to personalize it, convert it into something that you can believe in, that you have, that, that you can see as a tool that will help you in your quest to a million dollars. This is by no means a guarantee of success. You are the biggest factor in this equation. So let's have a look. Now just to repeat, if you think making a lot of money from Forex is difficult, then you merely need to change your mindset. So let's start with the plan. And it's a very easy plan. It's a five step plan. And the first step is to actually have a plan and a strategy. Now I'll go through that. 
you need a strategy with a reasonably good success rate. And when I say reasonably good, 60% is good enough. And you need to know a lot about a position sizing. You need to also reinvest in your success. And you need to know a bit about compounding your gains. So let's move on to the detail. So let's get into the trading method. And quite honestly, the method is the easiest part of this whole plan. All that people like Barry did was they traded divergences and and the divergence system is very easy it's when the price is going up like that and the uh, and the momentum indicator is going down like that and the momentum indicator could be the rsi the macd or the stochastic and you then trade any breakout that happens from there onwards and here's an example here price going down indicator going up and you trade the 50 line crossover or any signal that you feel comfortable with. Now these signals provide incredibly high success rates, especially if you only trade them in the direction of a trend if there is a trend. If it's going sideways, no problems, you can trade buys and sells. If it's starting to trend, you only trade trades in the direction of the trend. So your success rate is extremely high. I remember that uh, there were it was not uncommon to have more than 20 successful trades in a row using this particular method. It can be used on the 15 minute, 30 minute and one hour trading charts and uh, then can be the four hour and the daily can be used as confirmations. You could also trade the four hour chart. So there's the system, very simple and easy gives absolutely fantastic entries and you then have to just uh, arrange the uh, uh, stops and targets according to uh, the time frame that you're using and that type of thing there's a lot of, of about the system on the website on my channel my youtube channel lots of i've also got quite a number of eas that will trade this for you automatically but that's not the purpose of this video i just want to say that the trading methodology is the easiest part of this whole plan so let's move on to the next one now here's the financial plan that uh, essentially the guy that we that I spoke about earlier used and that we then incorporated in our trading. So we would all start out with fairly small balances. Now there's a reason for them there. Firstly there was not a lot of money in South Africa. Dollars were quite expensive. And uh, and we would assume a 60% success rate. Now, in fact, the success rate was a lot higher. It was between 70 and 80, but we assumed a 60% success rate for uh, this type of thing. The big thing here is we risked the same percentage of our account on every single trade. So if the trades were going positive, we risk 5% of the account. If they went negative, we still risk 5%. So we were risking less when they were going negative and more than they were when they were going positive. And uh, over a month or so, the average number of trades that were made were between 40 and uh, between 30 and 50. I'm just putting 50, uh, 30 down as a, as a, a number. And if that's the case and there was 60% success rate, then your successes would have given you $900 and your failures would have given you $600. So you would have made a $30 profit. But the big thing that this guy taught us is that you must reinvest in your success. So if your account is doing well, put more money in. And that's exactly, the, that is the important, most important part of growing your account is to put more money in if you are trading successfully. So what we ended up doing is we ended up putting in more money as the success increased. So, so although there was only $300 profit, we put more money in and we had more to trade the next time round. And on it went like that and on it went like that. And uh, as you can see, as the numbers became a little bit bigger, then you can actually drop your percentage of risk. So instead of allowing 20 negative trades, you can now allow 20, 25 negative trades. And there we go. And th this is over a two year period. And there's your one million dollars. Now, I must just point out that you would never, ever, ever have so much money in your trading account. Never. 
So you would always keep the minimum amount uh, that you need to trade in your trading account. And what you would do uh, when you're starting to get balances like this is that most of the money would actually be in the bank and you would only transfer that to your trading account if you need it. But if your success rate is reasonably good, you won't need it. So just be careful. This is a very simplistic calculation. I'm not suggesting that you keep this kind of money in your trading account. In fact, I discourage that completely. So firstly, we used to keep the minimum amount in our trading account, but this other, the, the, the the rest would be safely in some bank account that we can transfer very quickly on a daily basis into our trading account to, if it needs topping up. But we very seldom need it to top up. But uh, this is the uh, types of growth that you can look forward to on a compounding basis. Now, the other thing is that when you reach these bigger, bigger trading levels, you don't stick with one broker because you know that again you don't put a lot of money in one broker account but you also don't stick with one broker so we could end up trading seven brokers using this method because you don't want to attract excessive uh, attention to yourself so we we would use lots of brokers trading various uh, varying amounts of trades with the particular brokers and we'd soon learn which are the dependable brokers which aren't the ones and 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 shuffle around like that so just be careful i'm not suggesting you use one broker and that you let your account grow to this level at all i would say i say draw out what, the surplus that you need and only trade uh, leave in the account what you need and also spread your risk over a number of brokers so you, you, there's the plan so all you have to do is master that divergence technique, which is very easy to master, and then you start trading. Now, the trick is to to trade. So, so you can start today, start trading the divergence to, uh, technique today, build up a record of 30 pips on a demo account, see, see what your success rate is. If your success rate is good enough, go live and start the process straight away. And also, what's unusual about this plan, keep on investing. So you don't put all your money in at first, put, uh, put a small amount, make sure that your successes are coming through and just feed in the rest on a uh, regular basis and, and uh, the compounding and uh, will take care of the rest. Now, uh, if you have a, a bigger success rate, here's, here's an example of the same plan based on a 70% success rate, then your risk can be a lot lower because uh, the, the higher success rate, the, 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 the less your risk because you're still going to compound into huge numbers at the end. There. The, the compounding effect is just enormous when you trading uh, a technique that is dependable. So uh, again, people sleep a lot better when they're risking two and a half percent of their account per trade rather than five percent of the trade so here's another uh, uh, plan that you can use but this is the plan go and do it this is the, the this is the point what are you waiting for now you have the financial plan there it is I've given it to you. Uh, it is downloadable from our forum and uh, the, the link is in fact in the, the description of the video. You now know about a trading strategy. Now, I haven't given you all the details, but you know the guts of the st trading strategy. That's good enough. Go and back trade it. Go and demo trade it. Become the master of that strategy. Make sure that you're happy that it can produce between 60 and 80% success rate, and you'll be fine. You need to know how to position size. That's one of the key elements. You need to be able to risk the same amount on every trade and percentage, the same percentage, not amount. And you also need to know, uh, know the importance of investing in your success. In other words, invest monthly, just increase your account monthly, increase your account monthly if you are experiencing positive results. And you will be amazed as the, the plan said there is how to compound your gains. So there you are, what are you waiting for? Now you can go uh, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments of this video. Any comments, any remarks, leave them in the comments of this video and I will try to address them for you. So if you're able to focus and plan on your, fun and your financial uh, future, if you can invest $100 to $500 a month into your financial future, 
this is all that's required Ma if you're able to master a high success uh, forex trading technique as i've shown you that is such an easy and and high success uh, technique then just put your plans into action just do it as it says here and always remember it all starts with you don't be like the negative guys that blame their tools that blame everybody else it starts with you. You need to put all of this in action. You need to find the technique that's going to be 60 to 80% successful for you. Take it from there. Now, I have, a I have made a list of all the type of things that uh, good traders with a healthy uh, attitude towards Forex trading uh, have. And you can just go down here. You can pause the video and read through them. I'm not going to repeat them. We've discussed them earlier. And I've also made a list of what the other traders have that don't have the success of other traders. So, uh, again, pause the video and you can go through that. Now, I'm just going to repeat again the whole success of forex trading whether you are trading with EAs whether you are trading manually doesn't matter it's a mindset thing uh, this guy with a positive mindset says I'm going to make a million I'm going to do what it takes to do it the other guy is going to say oh it's too hard I don't know how nobody wants to help me I don't have the time I don't have uh, uh, I, I want to pay somebody to do it for me that's much easier I want to buy a robot that's even easier and I don't have the inter uh, internet that's good enough and I don't have money and there's, there's just hundreds of excuses and problems that this guy can think of and the leverage in the European Union is so bad I can never reach this level now that plan that I've just shown you has got nothing to do with leverage you will be successful anyway you will never have leverage problems if you use that plan now the best thing you can do right now is to start trading find a divergent system and trade it and do 30 trades Analyze the 30 trades. You'll you'll be able to find out whether you're doing certain things wrong or certain things right. Your stops are going to be too big. Your targets are going to be too small. That kind of thing. Do 30 trades. If your success rate is good, move on to live trading straight away. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and click the bell. But most importantly, share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails, or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and those kind of places. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.